Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a two-in-one kind of video. I'm going to do a day-to-night kind of look using drugstore makeup. There are a couple of items that I'm pretty sure are only from Australia. Um, like I've got an Australis palette. I don't know if you can maybe buy it from overseas as well. Um, I've no idea, but yeah, everything is drugstore. Let's do this. I haven't really played with makeup properly. I've done makeup, but I haven't played with new things. There are a couple of new things in that I'm going to be trying. Um, so I am excited. Thumbs up if you're excited. Yay! Let's jump into it. I am going in with primer. I'm going in with two primers because I'm sure you guys know, and if you don't, I have combination skin, but I have very large pores around my nose which I don't like so I'm going in with the NYX pore filler put it there just around where I need it next I'm going in with the Luma liquid light illuminating primer um, this is very similar to the L'Oreal Lumi primer is that what it's called? Something like that. Um, the colour is a bit more like more of a champagne, whereas the L'Oreal one was a white. Um, so I've only used this once and I like it so far. Next I'm going in with this um, Inoxa foundation which I've never really experimented with Inoxa product but I got this from work to try. Um, this is the Inoxa Anti-Aging Lift and Firm Foundation. It says featuring anti-aging, skin lifting and firming ingredients for a youthful, radiant complexion. It says this foundation is specifically formulated um, for the needs of mature, dehydrated and stressed skin offering weightless, long-lasting coverage for all day wear. I've only worn this once and I did find that it wore amazing throughout the day. Um, I don't have mature skin but I do have dehydrated skin and it has been stressed skin lately because of work which has been ah, amazing. And I'm using the shade Ivory. I'm just going in with my Eco Tool sponge. coverage. That is crazy. Next I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm mixing shade 10 and 15. I've just noticed that 15 is a bit too pink for me but yellow but yellow but 10 is too yellow and dark so mixing is good start with that I'm then going to set it with the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. And I'm just setting everywhere where I use the concealer and around my nose where I normally get oily. Okay, so brows are on. Um, I also used the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper on top. My favorite brown mascara. Um, next I'm going in with the Australis Contour Kit. This is the original one which I think, so there's four shades now. I think this one is 
the light. Um, yes. So I'll be going in with the middle shade. For bronzer, I'm going to use this Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer. Um, luminous Matte, I don't know what that is. It is a luminous bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use the Butter Blush in Plum Rose. For highlight, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. For my favorite part, this little beauty. Try and get no reflection in it. So this palette is from Astralis. And this is probably one of the best eyeshadow palettes that I've ever seen in the Australian drugstore. Um, yeah, just it is a stunning palette. The pigmentation is spot on. It's just awesome. So I will be using this today. I'm going to start off with this shade here in the middle. It's like a movie color. I'm also going to run that same shade underneath the lash line. Just to about halfway. Now that is probably as far as I would go. Um, and then I would throw on some mascara. So let's do that. Just going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paradise Mascara. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Gigi Hadid Lipstick and Lip Liner in Tora. I love this color. If there's one thing that Gigi got right out of that whole collection, it's this lip color. All right guys, so this is pretty much what I would do for the daytime. This is something that I would definitely wear to work. For some people, this might be a bit too much, but for me, this is, pretty basic um, yeah I don't know what else to say about it this is the daytime look let's move along to the nighttime look brownie shade here just on a slightly smaller um, blending brush Next, I'm going to go in with this darker brown here. Then on the lower lash line, I'll be using that same dark brown. I'm going to go in with the black. 
and try to put that against the lash line. I'm gonna go in with this shimmery shade just on the like inner part of the eye. And for the inner and for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I might go on top of that with the white one next to it. Oh, damn. Can you see that? Holy, holy moly. So that's pretty much all I would do to the eyes. Um, might just throw on some more mascara. You could put on false lashes if you wanted to. I'm not going to because most of the time I don't wear false lashes except for once in a while. So yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to intensify my contour and highlight just a little tiny bit because we want to look nice and structured, I guess, in photos. So I'm using the exact same shade in the Astralis palette. You could layer up more of the Master Chrome because this does get quite blinding. But I wanted to show you guys this one. This is the model's own highlight in Golden Sand. And this one is even more blinding if you can believe that. So just show you guys. Like, whoa. 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 So for a night out, you could totally do the nude lip option. It's a really great look. And I'm also going to show you what a bold lip would look like with this look. So I'll be right back. guys so this is the final look with the bold lip option i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it showed you guys that you can get easy daytime looks with drugstore makeup but also something a little more glam um, i could have gone even more glam i've got glitter and lashes but i thought i would take it easy this time maybe in another video so if you guys give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video because i will do it again later on in the future i'll do another drugstore one i'll do a high-end one whatever you guys want i might do both we'll see and in saying that let me know in the comments down below what videos you guys like watching for myself i like pretty much most videos I like pretty much any reviews, any makeup looks, get ready with me's, hauls, all those kinds of things. I don't like videos that's, oh, what's in my car? What's in my handbag? I don't care about that. I want to see real shit. Real shit. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post here when I feel like it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Just
Just move. 